Hey guys, sorry for the late delayed recap. Um, I got my second COVID shot yesterday and it beat me up. So, a headache all day. But uh, <laughs> feeling good now, so I wanted to get this out to you. So as you know already, or probably you know, the Yankees lost a, the, the final game of a three-game series in Tampa by a score of 9-1. to But the bright side is this is the first series that the Yankees have won against the Rays in two, almost two years. <laughs> and... Uh, they have also won, I think, the last seven or eight series overall. Uh, well, I one of them was a tie. and uh, but So they're on the right track. And uh, unfortunately, the Yankees are a little bit shorthanded right now. Uh, Glaber Torres is officially on the IL because he tested positive for COVID. That's an official test. And there are seven other uh, coaches and staff on the COVID list. So it's a little bit of an outbreak amongst the Yankees. And hopefully it doesn't get any worse. I mean, there were talks about them canceling the last two games. And... <clears throat> They did not, but um, that's something they, you know, they obviously have to be careful of. And uh, but to the game itself, you know the Yankees just could not do anything against Rich Hill, a uh, 41-year-old Southpaw Rich Hill. Um, he he threw six and was it six and six and two third innings and struck out nine guys, with the exception of a uh, RBI ground out by Clint Frazier in the ninth inning. That's all they were able to muster against the Rays, who had home runs from Randy Rosarino, Austin Meadows, and a boatload of hits. And, uh, you know, they, they hit Jamison Tyon pretty hard. He went four and two-thirds, uh, gave up four runs. And he also, he struck out, what did he strike out? Nine guys. So, overall, he wasn't that bad, but he's continued his struggles on the road. He's much better at home as he is on the road right now. And um, that's just the reality of it. So, hopefully he can get that figured out. Um, but it, it, it just, <clears throat> to me, it, um, it shows the Yankees have a glaring, just a glaring need for one more pitcher. And because it's still Garrett Cole, you know, and, and a bunch of other guys are playing solid. And, and, and Kluber's improving, and Tyon has improved and stuff like that. But his road and home stats are, are way off from each other. Uh, Herman's improved, the Montgomery's improved, but they still got hit a little bit. So I, I, I would expect them to pursue a starting pitcher uh, at the deadline. So as, with somebody with the name, you know, uh, like a Max Scherz or something like that, if they can, who's got... Uh, you know, what it'll be a deferred, whatever's left of his $15 million salary. It's it's $30 million, um, <clears throat> but the, um, and I mentioned this in another video, the Nationals actually spread it out. It was initially a seven-year, $210 million a year, which was 30 per year, but they spread it out over 14 years to make it $15 million per year for payroll purposes. Now, I don't personally see the point of the Yankees assuming, or any team assuming the other $105 million, uh, you know, re remaining of the, con of the um, contract. But you know that that who knows what that's going to happen. What, you know what's going to happen there. So uh, it's, it's just because it, the fact is, you know, he re he could retire and still make that money. He could play with another team, still make that money. He could resign with the Nationals, still going to make that money. So it, the Yankees should not have to pay him 105 million extra dollars for half a season. I mean, that's just that's just bananas. Like it's absurd. I don't know why any team would do that, even if it's Max Scherzer. Uh, or assume even half of it or whatever. You get $50 million for half a season like that? With no guarantee you're going to re-sign him? No way. So, but <clears throat> crazier things have happened in baseball. And, uh, I mean, look at the Mets. They're still paying Bobby Bonilla's contract. Who, I don't know. He hasn't been playing with them for, I don't know, 20-something 20, 20 years. <laughs> and uh, even though it's like a million a year, but it was spread out in some ridiculous way. But they're paying the guy. I don't know when they're going to stop paying him, but <laughs> it's, it's crazy. But nevertheless... That was it. wasn't much to really talk about in the Yankees, and unfortunately, they weren't able to sweep them. But they did take two out of three, so I'll take that. Now they head to Baltimore, and then they go to Boston after that. So it's going to be two pretty tough series, and uh, we don't know how long they're going to be shorthanded for with with Glaber Torres and some of the other coaches. And hopefully, other players don't get sidelined right now by this, because you know, that would be that would stink. It would really stink. So we'll see what happens. You know, I, I, the Yankees are on the right track. You know, they're heading, they're trending in the right direction. They're three games over 500, and um, they're, you know, they're looking solid right now. They still have a ways to go to catch Boston, but you know, and, and the rest of the division is going to be tight. And I would expect Toronto to make another move at some point. I would expect Baltimore, if they're playing this well, to to maybe make another move as well. But we'll see. And they have some young dynamic players there. And Trey Mancini, you know, coming off cancer, he's playing well too. And thank, thank goodness, it's it's just good to have him back and healthy. So um, they have some young dynamic pitchers and young dynamic hitters, and 
So they are, you know, if they were a solid young, young team, they could be up and coming. And they still haven't promoted Adley Rushman and some of their other top prospects from the, the most recent draft. So and the AL East is going to be tightening up over the next couple of seasons. So the Yankees need to kind of stay in line and keep up with these guys. So hopefully they do that. And uh, But that's the post-game recap. And um, keeping it short and sweet, later on today, I'm going to send out another trade proposal I think you're going to find interesting. So be on the lookout for that. Thanks for watching. Talk to you then.